welcome to the FBI Awards 2020, A Decade of Excellence. I'm Natasha Baker and I am so honoured to be your host for the third year running. Now normally we're in a super glamorous location, dressed to the nines with a room full of VIPs, but 2020 has thrown us a few curveballs and a lot of challenges. So this year we're keeping it real and doing it in the stables. I do, however, feel slightly overdressed. Ah, oh, that's better. As I was saying, 2020 has been such a challenging year, so we decided to shine the spotlight and celebrate our winners from 2009 when the FEI Awards first started right the way through to 2019. We reached out to you to have your say on who you thought was the best of the decade in our five categories. These are Longines FEI Rising Star, Peed and Bloodstock FEI Best Athlete, Cavalier FEI Best Groom, FEI Against All Odds, and FEI Solidarity. We have 55 nominees from 19 nations. You guys had a really, really tough decision to make. All of our nominees are heroes in their own right, with horsemanship at the heart of all of their stories. They all deserve to be celebrated for their achievements and their determination. You guys voted in your tens of thousands, so let's reveal the runners-up and let's chat to all of the winners of the FEI Awards 2020, a decade of excellence. Without further ado, let's now move on to our first category, the Longines FEI Rising Star. Since 2009, this category has celebrated many outstanding performances from our next generation of athletes. They were all aged between 14 and 21 at the time of their award win. Many of the 11 nominees have gone on to become household names. So let's see who's crowned the 2020 Longines FBI Rising Star. Allen from Ireland. In second place is Alex Huatian from China. And the winner of the Longing FBI Rising Star Award 2020 is Samika Rothenberger from Germany. So I am here with the Longines FEI Rising Star winner, Samika Rothenberger. Samika, it looked like you had your very own FEI award ceremony. How was the surprise? Um, well, it felt like it as well. It was not quite the feeling of Moscow last year, but um, my parents definitely deserve a reward for that surprise. They tricked me quite well. I thought it was just a normal Christmas party, but then uh, I found out that I won. So I'm extremely grateful and it was loads of fun to celebrate that. Oh, congratulations. You had confetti and a cake. It was such an extravaganza. <laughs> yeah, it was huge. It felt <laughs> amazing. So obviously you won last year and we had the amazing awards in Moscow. Um, and this year, you know, you, you've won again. How does it feel to be the best of the best of the rising stars? Um, I feel extremely grateful for having won this award, not only because it was, of course, um, from the other people who voted online. So I'm very grateful that so many people actually voted for me and that there's such a big fan base and uh, so many people that support me with this. Um, but on the other hand, it's also um, quite surreal because in this category, there were so many good athletes and uh, my brother was also there. So I didn't really expect that I would win it again, but um, it feels amazing. And I'm, yeah, I can't really quite believe it yet. So that's really cool. Oh, definitely. So you're young and you're so successful. What would you say to other aspiring sports stars? I would say the most important thing is to love what you do. That's 
actually what I live by every day, especially after we had this tragedy with the fire, um, just to not take anything for granted, enjoy every moment with your horses or whatever you are willing to be successful at. It's just like uh, taking one step at a time and um, dream big. I think that's, that's a big, big thing that uh, my parents just taught me right from the start. They said, be brave, dream big, and then uh, work hard for what you're doing. And what's the ultimate goal? Um, my parents, as I already said, they always taught me to dream big and to reach for your goals. So um, it may sound a little bit huge, but I would really like to uh, canter on that center line at Olympic Games one day. Um, I've heard the stories from my parents and uh, I get goosebumps every time. I've been there with Zunke at Rio. So yeah, the atmosphere is really, really special and I would love to see myself with one of my special horses canter in there and uh, feel the atmosphere of representing a country at Olympics like you did. <laughs> I'm sure 100% you are going to get there. And last of all, Semi, who inspires you? This is quite a tough question, which I've been thinking about for a longer time now. Um, of course, like the cliche answer would be all of the big riders that are very successful at the top. But uh, I personally also think that I'm incredibly inspired by the people behind the scenes. Um, for example, all of the hardworking grooms at home, uh, especially my groom, Alex, I see her every day. She's so passionate about the horses and it's not just a job for her, but she just like lives for this and um, that's super inspiring to have such a great team around me um, that just helps me to fulfill my dreams and uh, this is not only the grooms but it's everybody around there who takes care of the horses and of course my family uh, the way my mother works with the horses the way she lives for this she's so passionate about it and um, my father he never gives up that's one big thing that I really learned from him he just keeps going all the time and he always finds a solution for everything. Then of course my siblings. So um, yeah, I would say my family and the team around me is the most inspiring for me every day. Amazing, it's so, so lovely to hear. So Sammy, as part of winning the Longines FEI Rising Star, Longines are granting you with an elegant timepiece. You must be stacking up quite a collection now. Yeah, the dream would be to have more Longines watches than Zunko one day, although he's been sponsored. So it's quite nice that I won this award again to have another one in my collection and um, they're amazing. So <laughs> why not? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Well, congratulations. It's so well deserved and it's so lovely to talk to you again. Well done to our Longines FEI rising star. Thank you so much. The Longines FBI Rising Star Award recognizes exceptionally talented young athletes between the ages of 14 and 21. The FBI top partner, Twitz watchmakers Longines, place great importance encouraging youngsters to get into sport and are therefore proud to present the winner of this category with an elegant timepiece. And now to the second category, the FBI Against All Odds Award. Resilience and determination barely scratch the surface when you look back at all of the FEI Against All Odds winners since 2009. They all deserve our respect and admiration, but who's going to add a second awards to their collection? Third place goes to Leila Malki from Palestine. Place, we have Emma Booth from Australia and the winner of the FEI Against All Odds Award 2020 is Angelica Trapper from Germany. So I'm here with Angelica Trapper, the winner of the FEI Against All Odds Award. How does it feel? Awesome. Really, really awesome because it was the biggest surprise ever, I suppose. I never ever thought that I would make it there. There were so many great people the last uh, 10 years and yeah, 
So I'm really surprised, very excited. Oh, that's amazing. You are such a huge inspiration to so many people, myself included. And obviously, oh, you. <laughs> you won the awards such a long time ago. You've really captured the hearts of the public. That, that's so incredible. Well, it's really amazing because next year it will be 30 years that I started. No way. Yeah, in, in 91, I started um, in Denmark. So it will be 30 years next year. <laughs> A special anniversary for sure. Very, very special. Um, I've seen so many different things and it, it just, um, I feel it's, it's an award and it's a reward for the work I've been doing and um, what I feel is important for our sport. Definitely. Now we love your motto, it's ability not disability that counts. How important is it that you can spread that message? For me, it's very important because I think that it's what it's all about. Um, it's, you should always look upon the positive. I think, it, especially in those times, it's very, very hard for a lot of people and it counts more than ever to, to look upon it, the possibilities and the abilities that we have. And there are many, there are many. So Angelica, you are a very busy lady. Not only are you a rider, you're a rider representative, you're a mother, and you're also an anaesthetist. How do you fit it all in? Well, very difficult at some point. Um, and I'm very depending on my team, on my family that accept me the way I am. That means also that I don't have time all the time for as long as I wish. But um, as long as I have people that work with me and we have a good logistics, then it does work, yes. Fantastic. And you've competed in five Paralympic Games and in Rio you were the mixed zone liaison. What does Tokyo bring? Are you going to be working for the organizing committee? Are you gonna be riding? What, what's gonna be your role? Well, I am lucky that I have a new horse. The horse is only six years old, so she is fairly young. We'll see on how far we can go, but Tokyo is definitely on my list. Um, if I will be working for organizing committee or as a competitor, that we will see later. Fantastic. And last of all, we would love to know who or what inspires you? Who? Oh many people um sometimes the inspiration for me and my motivation is just that somebody tells me that is impossible for you that is a lot of times my motivation to prove that i can do it i can do it i can do it even better and the horse actually is the biggest inspiration because the horse gives me those four legs and it's such an amazing feeling that you have those 600 700 kilos underneath you and and you shift your weight and the horse just responds to it and this is just i think the biggest motivation and inspiration to get better and better and those light aids that you can use those and the, then the connection that you have with your partner the horse amazing well it's so lovely to hear from you and um, huge huge congratulations for this amazing fei against all odds award 2020 Thank you, Natasha, and thank you for everybody that believes in me and that voted for me. Well done. Moving swiftly on to our third category, the Cavalier FEI Best Groom. Since 2009, our grooms have been celebrated for not only their dedication to the horses, but also to the athletes. We have celebrated long-term partnerships, and so who is going to be crowned our best of the decade? Madeleine Brock from the Netherlands and groomed to Mark Halsager. In runner-up spot we have Alan Davies from Great Britain groomed to Carl Hester. And the winner of the Cavalier FBI Best Groom Award 2020 is Carmen Thiemann from Germany groomed to eventing legend Ingrid Klimka. Please 
pleased to be joined with the winner of the Cavalor FEI Best Groom, Carmen. Congratulations. So not only have you won the best groom of the decade, but you've also won a thousand euros worth of Cavalor product. Um, how does it feel? How was the surprise? It is such a big surprise. I'm really pleased to have win the prize and it's, uh, I, it's a big honor for me to be the second time the best groom from Cavalor sponsored and I'm really looking forward to get the vouchers. You won this award back in 2013 and then last year Ingrid won Best Athlete. Now you guys have been working together for 23 years and you've competed in five Olympic Games together. Has there been a particular highlight over all those years? Yes, that's a big highlight to go to five Olympics and uh, it's wonderful to... Uh, join Ingrid for all the, those big journeys. Now, is there a horse that has particularly stood out to you over the years that you've uh, taken care of? Oh, there are many horses. There are really a lot of wonderful horses. Even all horses are very special and I can't even say um, if that's the big horses or the old ones, even the young ones make a lot of fun and it's, um, wonderful to see them growing up. Oh, that's fantastic. And you, know, you and Ingrid are such a close-knit team. What do you think is the key to your success? Uh, the trust between us and the fun with the horses and the nature. So what do you think as a groom that you bring to the partnership with you and Ingrid? What, uh, what do you th see as your help towards her success? So I uh, try to make the horses happy and healthy that they can uh, really, uh, they, that they are ready to work uh, for Ingrid or with Ingrid and uh, yeah. Well, you obviously do such an outstanding job. Now, we understand that Ingrid is with you, um, you know, can, can she come onto camera maybe? Will we be able to see Hello. Hello. <laughs> There she is. Hi, Ingrid. Hi. So nice to see you. I'm so proud of Carmen. That's fantastic. She's done so well. What does it mean to you that Carmen has won the public vote and is Cavalor FEI best groom? It just shows all the people who know Carmen in person, especially worship and know how valuable she is as a person and especially in her job with the horses and for so many years we both are successful as a team because I never would go to a show or to a championship without her. She's the best friend of the horses so I can totally focus on my job either in cross country or in the dressage knowing that uh, Cam brings them out as happy as healthy as possible. Fantastic. It's such an important role to have. And, you know, Carmen has obviously excelled in it. So huge congratulations to you, Carmen. Well done. <laughs> Thank you very <laughs> much. <laughs> and now for the FEI Solidarity Award. Looking back at all the previous winners since 2009 has been such an incredible trip down memory lane. Seeing all of the amazing individuals and organisations that make such a difference to our sport globally. So let's take a look and see who's won this special recognition. goes to Uno X Clinton from Sweden for his dedication to training and developing farriers in Zambia. In second place we have Sean Bashaba, the established Horses Helping People initiative in South Africa and the winner of the FBI Solidarity Award 2020 is the Ebony Horse Club in Brixton, Great Britain. So now I am with Naomi Howgate, who is the general manager for the Ebony Horse Club. Congratulations. How was it to find out that you've won? 
Oh my gosh, you were absolutely over the moon. Thank you so much to everyone who voted, everyone at the FEI. Honestly, it was just incredible. Um, yeah, I mean, a huge awards. So many other really, really deserving people in our category. We are just absolutely delighted. Yeah, yeah. really, really happy. Oh, fantastic. Now, you won this award back in 2010. How does it feel to be the best of the best 10 years down the line? We're just, yeah, absolutely amazing. I think this is our original award that I just showed you. Um, I think there were so many other really deserving, really inspiring people and organisations in our category. And that, I, that really struck me when, when we first found out that, you know, we were up to be best of the decade. Um, and it was really hard even to sort of vote for ourselves because there was these amazing organisations and, and people who've done incredible work. So to be recognised alongside those people as best of the decade, it is just such a huge accolade. And I think has made us all really, really proud of the work that we do here. Absolutely. And it's so, so deserving. So Naomi, can you tell us a little bit more about the Ebony Horse Club? Yeah, of course. So Ebony Horse Club is a charity and we're based in Brixton in South London. So we're literally under the railway arches. We've got power blocks behind us and we operate from, you know, a small centre in the middle of a really urban environment. And whilst we've got the horses and obviously we teach riding, I always say that Ebony is a youth club with horses rather than a riding centre because our ethos is all about helping our young people be the best they can be, both on and off the horses. And um, we see about 150 young people every week and they all come from, from our local areas. They're all from South London. They learn riding, horse care and stable management. We do lots of trips and excursions. And also a big part of what we do is youth work to support our young people. And that can be anything from, helping someone to write a CV, um, helping people kind of prep for college or interviews, but also things like healthy eating and fitness and art. So there's lots and lots of different things that the young people can get involved with as well as the horses themselves. But of course they all love the horses first and foremost. Absolutely, that sounds amazing. Ebony Horse Club obviously relies on donations. So receiving this gift from the FEI of a, of a donation, how important is that to you guys? It's so important. Um, like you say, donations for us are everything. Um, it, it's how that we can provide the work that we're doing. So we support about 400 young people a year and we can only do that through donations um, of, of money that allows us to run our services. So it's just really, really fantastic that the FEI are not just donating this fantastic award, not well, this is what we won, this isn't the yeah. donation, <laughs> and we've got a donation to come. And, you know, being sort of on a, on a serious note, we operate in an area really of, of quite kind of high inequality. And when you look at the figures, things about poverty and deprivation, you know, it's not an affluent area the families that come here aren't families that could afford normal riding lessons. So a donation from the FEI, which helps us put on riding lessons and reach those kids and those families, it is really important. And we all know it's been a really challenging year. We've all felt it and communities like ours that are a little bit, you know, they're not as affluent anyway. They've really felt the brunt of everything that's been happening this year. So anything we can do to support them, getting the kids into ride, giving them a safe place to be, providing some support for the families as well. It is so important and I cannot overstate that at a time like this. Amazing. Well, it's so, so well deserved. Congratulations on your FEI Solidarity Award and here's to the next 10 years. Thank you so much. We can't wait to see what the next 10 years is going to hold. And I really hope that we're going to be able to be involved in the FEI in the future lots of the other nominees as well and I want to say a huge huge well done to everyone else who's won and that was nominated because in all the categories it was fantastic to see so many inspiring horse people from all around the world. Amazing congratulations. Thank you. The last category to be revealed is the Peden Bloodstock FEI Best Athlete Award. 
Made up of Olympic and world champions, this category really unites the incredible sportsmen and sportswomen that really shape our sport. Who has won over the hearts of you, the public? Let's find out. Third place goes to Simone Blum, the 2018 FEI Jumping World Champion from Germany. In second place, we have Charlotte Jardin, Great Britain's Golden Girl and multi-Olympic dressage gold medalist. And the winner of the Peed and Bloodstock FBI Best Athlete Award 2020 is Ingrid Klimke from Germany. So I am so honoured to be here with the Peed and Bloodstock FBI Best Athlete, Ingrid Klimke, Wow, two years in a row, voted best athlete of the decade. How does that feel? Still a little bit unreal because I'm so thrilled and so happy, especially if I think back of last year, the ceremony in Moscow really was so impressive and so very, very special that I will never forget this wonderful evening. Yes, it's a little bit different this year with, you know, COVID and everything, but it's so nice to be able to celebrate it. And, you know, how was the surprise when you found out that you'd won again this year? I mean, Carmen and me opened the package and didn't know what was in there. And the more um, we started unfolding, we realized the FEI award, is it really true? <laughs> and then we two of us, we were really, really excited. Now, Ingrid, as part of winning the Peed and Bloodstock FEI Best Athlete Award, you've also won a €2,000 horse transport voucher. That's going to come in very handy, I feel. Oh, very handy, because especially the show shows are quite expensive. So now if you want to have a travel far away, I know exactly where we can spend it. Now, obviously, Ingrid, you come from uh, an equestrian background with your father having competed at the Olympic Games. Was that always your dream? Yes, because I grew up with a father who counted in Olympic years. So his biggest dream was that one of his kids one day will um, share this passion and also compete in Olympic Games. So unfortunately, he died much too early in 99. And then from 2000 on, I was really so uh, lucky that um, I was able to compete in all the Olympics. Now, obviously you've had such an astonishing record, not just over the past decade, but as you say, way back since 2000. Has there been any particular standout moments for you? What has been your highlight? I think the standout moment was really my first Olympics in Sydney because it was so emotional. I was come in my first Olympics and then it was um, so friendly from all the Australians. So being in London was very special. Everything open, everybody could join on the street. Being in Hong Kong was different while Peking, Peking was far away. And so each one has had his special moments, memories which we will never forget. But I must say also to compete in badminton and Berlin was for me very excited. And so there were many, many moments which I will never forget. So, so many highlights over your amazing career. And then this year you made history because you won the national championships alongside your daughter who was in the under 18, the wonderful Greta. That must have felt amazing. I mean, we both uh, couldn't really um, thought that was true. At the first moment, we, we really hugged us and thought, it, I mean, it's amazing. Greta joined me last year in Moscow and she also was so thrilled. So um, being there this year together was like the next generation is now ready in the footprints and can follow me. Oh, she's such a wonderful rider and I'm sure she will definitely follow in your footprints. But now, obviously, you've won pretty much everything. Um, but the one thing missing is that individual Olympic medal. Is this something that's on your radar for Tokyo? For sure. Not only Tokyo, I'm already thinking of Paris, which is not so far away either. That's why I'm very happy um, that I have some young ones really coming up. 
So it's for sure SAP HELWOP OLD who will be my first choice, but there's SAP Asha coming and Equus for Siena. So I really try to get the next generation coming. I love to write, I love to compete, and I really love to keep going. That's so, so fantastic. It's so, so lovely to speak to you, Ingrid. And is Carmen still there? Can we ask Carmen? Yes, Carmen is here as well. <laughs> so we both are here as a team because every success I have, Carmen was joining me. And we say always, as a team, we are unbeatable. That's our slogan. And for sure, it's true because without Carmen, me and the horses would never have had such tremendous successes. It's so fantastic that this year you have both won Cavalor FEI Best Groom, Peed and Bloodstock FEI Best Athlete. What a team. You really are unbeatable. And I can, without a doubt, see loads more gold medals coming your way over the next few years. So best of luck with everything and huge congratulations to you both. Well done. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much. much. We are looking forward <laughs> for the party. <laughs> <laughs> Huge congratulations to all of our amazing award winners and nominees tonight in this very special edition of the FBI Awards 2020. You are all heroes within your own right and you make up this wonderful, diverse equestrian community that we are so proud to be a part of. Now, obviously, Germany are no stranger to accolades and they've racked up some pretty impressive awards tonight but it just shows the strength and depth that they have within their equestrian heritage we would like to take the time to express our gratitude to our wonderful partners of the fei awards 2020 for their support and their dedication to the equestrian world and tonight's heroes to peed and bloodstock the official FEI Equestrian Logistics Partner and title sponsor of Peed and Bloodstock FEI Best Athlete. To Cavalor, the official FEI Nutritional Partner and the title sponsor of Cavalor FEI Best Group. And last but by no means least, to FEI's top partner Longines for presenting all of our individual award winners a beautiful timepiece and for their dedication and passion towards the Longines FEI Rising Star Award. It's been such a tough and challenging year for us all, but if a fighting spirit is anything to go by, I know that we can all get through this together. So let's see what 2021 brings. Huge congratulations again to all of our award winners and nominees. Now it's time to celebrate. But I'm not quite ready to say goodbye to the glamour just yet. Thank you all so much for joining us. What an incredible FEI Awards it's been. Here's to 2020.